Oklahoma weather experts, only on News on 6. Oklahoma's own News on 6 starts now. Snow on the ground across parts of the area this morning. We have live team coverage for you across green country to update you on the winter weather road conditions. And it's a big code start at the bus stop. I'm going to break down one day this week's sunshine and warmer weather will return. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to 6 in the morning. It's Wednesday at 430. Thank you for being here. I'm Tess Monty. I'm Alan Crone. So are you going to look outside in the metro? We skipped out on the snow. I had a little bit in Manford, a little bit of snow on the ground. Yeah, well, good for you because <laughs> it was not a lot here in the metro. When I got to work this morning, we did have a little bit, but most of that's gone. Uh, so the layer of warm air just did not cool down enough in time. Uh, we had a lot of rain yesterday afternoon, but it wasn't hard enough to get this temperature to start to drop in the colder weather. But just south of it, it was a totally different story. Now, this is the current radar scope. So the big storm system mostly is leaving. We're still waiting for this little area to kind of pinwheel through this morning. So if you're out early this morning, there will be occasionally some sprinkles, some flurries. You'll flip the windshield wiper on a little bit, and that'll be about it. Now, this is earlier this morning. This is Sequoia Quentin shot. He was on I-40 eastbound. You can see that this is a totally different view across the southern and eastern part of the state compared to what we have here in Tulsa. Got lots and lots of snowpack roads across the southern areas. Uh, some pretty significant snows in some spots. Hoffman, that's in McIntosh County. That's six inches. So uh, roughly around the Shakota and McIntosh County area, there's between four to six inches. Louisville, that's Haskell County. That's five to six inches there. Little Kansas and Delaware is 2.8. And over in Arkansas, the last report was Springdale at five inches. So 30s this morning, some clouds, kind of a blustering northwest wind and highs this afternoon should be able to reach the lower 40s. It will be a big melting process that will take place in southern Oklahoma. See you in a couple of minutes. Thank you, Alan. One of the areas that received the most store, uh, snow during the winter storm was Henrietta. News on 6's Jonathan Pulasic joins us on the phone right now with an update on road conditions down that way. Jonathan? Hey, Tess, good morning. Yeah, we were traveling down Highway 75, and, you know, it was pretty much clear even all the way through Okmulgee, but once we got just a couple of minutes outside of Henrietta, uh, that's when we started seeing snow on the side of the road and, uh, you know, kind of all over the place. And now we're just now getting on to uh, uh, I-40 heading east towards uh, uh, Fort Smith, and uh, as you can see right now, there's just, you know, like I said, a lot of this snow and slush uh, on on not on the roadway for the most part, just uh, on you know on the grass and everything around here. We did you know come across a couple of spots with a little bit of slush, but for the most part, the roads have actually been uh, pretty clear and uh, you know not really having any issues. But uh, we're gonna you know kind of take a look as we hop on to I-40 right here real quick and just kind of see what's going on. And uh, right now, not too many cars on the roads. Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot. Uh, one car just ahead of us is just hopping off. And uh, uh, we're going to kind of take a look and see what's, uh, what's going on right now. But uh, so far, it hadn't been too bad. But uh, we're going to continue on I-40 East uh, a little bit towards uh, the Fort Smith area and just kind of see what we can see and uh, uh, show you what we find. So... Uh, with that, we'll go ahead and toss it back to you in studio, Tess. All right, you guys be careful. Thank you, Jonathan. And we move now to Muskogee, where we find news on six is Alyssa Miller. She joins us live with a look at conditions there. Alyssa. Good morning, Tess. Yeah, we're here at 32nd and Broadway Street in Muskogee, and we want to give you a look at the roads. On our way in, we drove in from Tulsa this morning. It was mainly just wet, and you can see here on this main road, just wet here, but as you come over to the side street, there is actually some slush on those roads, so it is a little bit more difficult, so definitely want to take your time in Muskogee this morning if you're traveling on any side streets to work. And then I want to give you a look at the snow here. We actually have some snow, and the weathermen were right. It is good for snowmen, very compact. Um, that happened around late last night when it actually started snowing and happened much of the night. As we've been here, no snow anymore, um, but it looks like they got a pretty good amount. So definitely want to take some time to clear off those car windows this morning because we did see quite a few cars parked outside that had snow covering the windshield completely. So I'll send it back to you, Tess. 
Thanks, Alyssa. And you can stay up to date with the weather by downloading our free News on 6 weather app. You can opt in for push alerts to get the latest information right at your fingertips. Broken Arrow police looking for the person who shot and killed a 16-year-old boy yesterday. Police say they found the teenager near 51st and 145th East Avenue, but don't have a lot of information to go on. Investigators are checking for surveillance video in the area that could help with the investigation. If you have any information, call the department's non-emergency number at 918-259-8400. Oklahoma Highway Patrol is warning people about the dangers of distracted driving. OHP holds a campaign against distracted driving each year in January to honor Trooper Nicholas Dees, who was killed by a distracted driver in 2015. Troopers say texting and driving is always dangerous, but especially when there's bad weather. When it is wet or when it is slick, you need actually more time to make a decision to slow down than you would even on pristine roadways. OHP also wants to remind drivers it's state law to move over if you see flashing lights on the side of the road. Gas prices in our area and across the country continued to rise. AAA says the average in Tulsa County is 314. That's up 10 cents from Tuesday. We've seen prices at some Tulsa gas stations rise as much as 20 cents in one day. And the city of Tulsa has three warming shelters open. People can go to John 316 Mission, the Salvation Army Center of Hope, and the Tulsa County Emergency Shelter. If you see someone outside in the cold, you can fill out an outreach request form online at housingsolutionstulsa.org. Today, all Tulsa Public Schools will start one hour late because of the winter weather. TPS says the delayed start will give staff a chance to make sure the campuses are safe before students get there. Many other schools are closed or have made changes for today. We have them scrolling at the bottom of your screen, which you can see there. You can also find a full list at newson6.com. Right now, it is 437. We want to get back over to Alan Crone this morning. The good news, uh, no freezing or below freezing freezing temperatures for much of the area. Yeah, we are just a little bit above that, so that will be good. Tomorrow morning, we'll be into the freezing category, so a lot of the snow that we have across the southern areas uh, today will start to melt away. In fact, it's melting right now in some spots because it's slightly above freezing. So tomorrow morning could be quite a bit of slick spots in the southern and eastern sections. That's where they received uh, most of the snow. So 42 this afternoon, we'll have a blustering northwest wind. It'll be mostly cloudy. There will be some sun breaks. Uh, the winds are pretty light right now, but they should come up a little bit through the day. Uh, this is the leftover of the big storm system. So it continues to push away from us. Drier air is wrapping into it. There's still a little bit of uh, maybe a flurry or two or a couple of sprinkles that will pin well across northern Oklahoma for the next couple of hours. So when I was driving to work this morning, I had my windshield wiper on constantly. Uh, between the 1 and uh, the 1 30 and 2 o'clock time period and you're going to see that as well in some spots that'll be flurry activity in some spots that'll be just kind of liquid uh, drizzly mist 34 Tulsa west wind at 9 dew points at 33 the barometer is falling so let's check out the temperature this morning 34 in Catoosa 35 in Bixby Coeta at 34 temperature in your hometown how about Paul Husk at 32 33 in uh, the prior area this is the zone both sides of I-40, right in through here, that we had quite a bit of snow that goes all the way down to McAllister. Vaughn's in McAllister, by the way. We'll check in with Vaughn through the early morning hours. We had some snow also across the far western areas. Those temperatures are right at freezing. Uh, 39 at the noon hour, and then by the early afternoon, we're going to have high temperatures that should reach the lower 40s. It'll be mostly cloudy, but there will be a sunbreak or two also occasionally in that area. So 43 in Muskogee today. So that snow that you have on the ground in Muskogee is going away quickly. Same thing in McAllister. Daytime temperature in prior at 42 to 43. 41 in Stillwater, Pawnee, and Manford. And the gusty northwest wind will pick up at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures tomorrow morning. We're anticipating a few clouds in some spots, but if we do have mostly clear sky, and I fashion the lows for mostly clear, that will get us down to the lower 20s. So thankfully later today, even though it's going to melt a lot in southern Oklahoma, the wind will also help to dry some of those roads. But we'll give you a heads up right now in southeastern and south central Oklahoma tomorrow morning could be quite a few slick spots with that residual moisture 
and a hard freeze on some of the roads. And then Thursday afternoon, sunshine, a lighter wind, northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, and the highs will be in the mid and even a few upper 40s. The temperature trend will move up. It's going to warm up quite a bit for Friday and Saturday, and then it changes again. We are not finished with winter, and we have more Arctic air to talk about. We'll do that in our next update. Thank you, Alan. It's 439 right now, 440. Parts of green country are white this morning. Next, we'll show you some of the snow pictures you've shared with us from this most recent round of winter weather. Say Channel 53 on your Contour remote for Travis's latest forecast. Every parent knows when it's time to go into protect mode. Adding Lysol Laundry Sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of illness-causing bacteria detergents leave behind. Clean is good, sanitized is better. If you're 65 years or older, or will soon turn 65, look to a Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan that cares back. From Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Oklahoma, the right plan for all your big plans ahead. Being right here in Oklahoma, it's the most popular plan in the state. Providing the peace of mind you deserve and the freedom of always having a leading partner standing by you, with you, for you, for all the journeys ahead. Discover the benefit of blue through it all. Right now at Ashley, discover the luxury of a good night's sleep without the luxury price tag on some of our top mattress brands, including our Tempur-Pedic and Purple Line. Enjoy next-level comfort and convenience to give yourself the best night's sleep. Plus, get special financing for five years and get free delivery. From cozy to cooling to contouring support, we have the perfect mattress for you. Hurry into America's number one furniture and mattress store. Only at Ashley. Visit our three locations in Tulsa and Owasso. Been wanting a new ride for the new year? Now's the time to buy at the Oklahoma Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Dealer Start Something New Sales Event. Amazing deals on some of our most popular models, like 2.9% APR financing for 72 months on all new Ram 1500 Crew Cab models, excluding TRX. That's right, low 2.9%. Or purchase a luxurious 2023 Grand Cherokee L Limited and get $2,000 bonus cash, plus 1.9% APR financing for 72 months. Yes, you get both. Hurry in to your local Oklahoma Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Dealer today. Wendy's fries are always hot and crispy. Friday! So Toby says every day is now... Friday, Friday, Friday. Tuesday. Friday. Wednesday. Friday. 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 I always remember that, that one. Because that's the easy one. Try Wendy's hot and crispy fries. Preferred almost two to one over McDonald's. Ugh, <sighs> allergy sufferers. Bedtime means it's time to take Zizol. Zizol relieves allergies while you sleep, so you wake refreshed. Plus, it works faster than Claritin, and on first dose, provides the same relief as Zyrtec in a pill nearly half the size. Be wise all. Take Zizol at night. First psoriasis, then psoriatic arthritis. Even walking was tough. I had to do something. I started Cosentix. Cosentix can help you move, look, and feel better by treating the multiple symptoms of psoriatic arthritis. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections, some serious, and the lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Tell your doctor if your Crohn's disease symptoms develop or worsen. Serious allergic reactions may occur. Watch me. Ask your rheumatologist about Cosentix. Airwick. Why burn a candle when you can switch to Airwick Essential Mist? It's the modern way to transform fragrance infused with natural essential oils into a mist. Airwick Essential Mist. Connect to nature. We have gotten a lot of pictures from viewers over the past 12 hours as snow fell across parts of green country. And News on 6's Meredith McCown joins us in the studio now with a look at how Oklahomans captured the winter weather. Good morning, Meredith. Good morning, Tess. We've received so many pictures in our email everywhere from Porham to Stigler, really all over the state. KB Westervelt sent us this photo from Lake Eufaula. It's a Picture perfect view of the snow from the porch. You just sit out there with a cup of coffee. It looks so peaceful. Celeste Harris sent us this picture also from Lake Eufaula. You can see she was able to make a snowman out of the snow that fell there. Let's move now to Vicki Duncan's photo from east of Harshorn. People there received quite a bit of snow. You can tell by just how much accumulated on the table. Mindy Bonham from Poto sent us this picture. It looks like a winter wonderland postcard. We will end with li this little guy. Mandy Pitts sent from Shakota sent us this picture. Look how cute. He even has a little Santa hat. We have a lot more pictures to share with you throughout the morning. If you have pictures you would like to send us, you can send them to pics at newson6.net. Meredith McCown, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.